In this video, I'm going to do two definite integrals that require u substitution. So let's get right on with it. The first one is the definite integral from 1 to 2 of e to the 1 over x over x squared dx. The first thing I'm going to do is because I see an x squared on the bottom and a 1 over x on top, is I'm going to make this 1 over x look a little bit nicer to read. So this is just the same thing as x to the negative 1. And now that I see this x to the negative 1, I see a derivative that I can take that will clear up this 1 over x squared dx thing I have going on. So let's take u equal to x to the negative 1. Now if we take the derivative of this, we are going to get negative x to the negative 2 dx. Okay, now let's turn this again into something that's a little bit more readable that looks like our original problem. Well, we have a negative that we don't want, so we can take negative du is equal to, and this would be x to the negative 2 dx, but what is x to the negative 2? That is just 1 over x squared. Now things look a little bit nicer. So we can take our definite integral of, well, we don't know our limits yet because we haven't changed them because when we do u substitution, we have to change the limits too, but we can fill in the rest. So this will be e to the u, and then this x squared, well, this one over x squared dx is taken care of from negative du. So we can put a du here and we can take the negative out front. Now we need to change our limits of integration. So here, if x, sorry, if we have negative, if we have one on the bottom, so just one on the bottom, then one over one, since this is x to the negative one, is just equal to one. So our lower limit doesn't change. But our upper limit, if x is equal to two, then we're gonna get one over two as our top limit. So this is now the integral from one to one half. So again, I just plugged one into x to the negative one, and then I plugged two into x to the negative one in order to get our new limits of integration. But we can flip these because one is greater than one half. So if we flip these, then we get rid of the negative out front, and now we're left with the integral from one half to one of e to the u du. And now the substitution is pretty straightforward. The antiderivative of e to the u is just e to the u. So this is e to the u from one half to one, which is just equal to e minus e to the one half. And we can make this look a little bit nicer by saying this is e minus the square root of e. So that is the first solution. The second integral I want to do is the definite integral from e to e to the four of dx over x square root ln x. This one looks a little bit more complicated than it is. I see this ln x on the bottom under a square root and I think, wow, that is going to be a pain to deal with. So let's just make our u substitution equal to ln x and see what happens. Okay, the derivative of ln x is just one over x dx. And I see that here, I see dx over x here I see we've taken care of ln x, so it looks like we've simplified this problem quite a bit. So this will be the integral of, well, we'll do our limits of integration in just a second, but du replaces one over x dx. So we have a du out here, and then we have u equals ln x. So this is now going to be one over root u. Okay, so now let's do our limits of integration. Well, if u, sorry, if x is equal to e, then u would be ln of e, which is just 1, so our lower limit is going to be 1, and if x is equal to e to the 4, then u would equal ln e to the 4, which is just 4. So this is now the definite integral from one to four of one over root u du. Now we just have to take the antiderivative. And it's usually a lot easier if we write this in terms of a uh, power. So one over the square root of u is just u to the negative one half. 
and now this integral will be a little bit easier to deal with. So this is now equal to, well, what is the antiderivative of u to the one half? It is going to be u to the one half over one half. And this is from one to four. So we just do some substitution here. This will be the square root of four over one half minus the square root of one over one half, which is just going to be equal to two minus one all over one half, which is equal to one over one half, which is just equal to two. Okay, so those were two problems with definite integrals with u substitution. The biggest thing to take away is to remember to change your limits of integration. That is the most important part for these questions. Of course, taking the antiderivative and everything is important too, but if you're going to forget to do one thing on the exam, it's going to be forgetting to change your limits of integration, and that will give you a completely different answer. If you have any questions or want to see more practice questions like this, leave a comment down below, and I'll get to you as quick as I can.